ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवत कैंटो सिक्स चैप्टर फोर वर्स नंबर सवै मेष विशेष माया निषेध निर्वाण सुखानुभूति सर्वनाम स विश्व प्रसीदतामशक्ति Just as the great learned brahmanas who are expert in performing ritualistic ceremonies and sacrifices can extract the fire dormant within wooden fuel by chanting the 15 samidheni mantras thus proving the efficacy of the vedic mantras so those who are actually advanced in consciousness in other words those who are in krishna consciousness can find the super soul who by his own spiritual potency is situated within the heart the heart is covered by the three modes of material nature and the nine material elements material nature the total material energy the ego the mind and the five objects of sense gratification and also by the five material elements and the 10 senses these 27 elements constitute the external energy of the lord great yogis meditate upon the lord who is situated as the super soul paramatma within the core of the heart hridi anta within the core of the heart may that super soul be pleased with me the super soul is realized when one is eager for liberation from the unlimited varieties of material life when actually attains such liberation when he is when he engages in the transcendental loving service of the lord and realizes the lord because of his attitude of service the lord may be addressed by various spiritual names which are inconceivable to the material senses when will that supreme personality of god be In his commentary to this verse, Sri La Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur uses the word "durvigneyam," which means very difficult to realize. The stage, the pure stage of existence, is described in the Bhagavad Gita, wherein Krishna says, "Yesham tvantagadam babam jananam punya karmanam." भगवदीता upasate always chanting my glories endeavoring with great determination bowing down before me these great souls perpetually worship me with devotion one can understand the supreme personality of god is after transcending all material impediments therefore lord krishna also says in the gita manushya naam sahasreshu kashchit yadati siddhaye सर्विस By following this process, one can very easily come to the 
spiritual platform and understand the Lord. This too is confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita wherein Krishna says, Bhaktya maam abhijana tu yavan yascha asmi tattvatara tato maam tattvato vyatva vishate tadamantaram. One can understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead as He is only by devotional service. And when one is in full consciousness of the Supreme Lord, by such devotion, he can enter into the kingdom of God. Thus, although the subject matter is durvignayam, extremely difficult to understand, it becomes easy if one follows the prescribed method. Coming in touch with the Supreme Personality of God it is possible through pure devotional service, which begins with Shravanam Quotes a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam. Pravishta karna randhena swanam bhava saroruham. The process of hearing and chanting enters the core of the heart, and in this way one becomes a pure devotee. By continuing this process, one comes to the stage of transcendental love, and then he appreciates the transcendental form, qualities and pastimes of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In other words, a pure devotee by devotional service is able to see the Supreme Personality of Godhead despite many material impediments, which are all various energies of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Easily making his way through these impediments, a devotee comes directly in contact with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. After all, the material impediments described in these verses are but various energies of the Lord. When a devotee is eager to see the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he prays to the Lord. Ainanda Tanuja Kinkaram, Patitam Maam Vishame Bhavam Budhau, Kripaya Tavapada Pankajas, Pitadhuli Shadrisham Vichintaya. O son of Maharaj Nanda, Krishna, I am your eternal servitor. Yet somehow or other have fallen into the ocean of birth and death. Please pick me up from this ocean of death and place me as one of the atoms at your lotus feet. Being pleased with the devotee, the Lord turns all his material impediments into spiritual service. In this connection, Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakura quotes a verse from the Vishnu Purana. Ladini Sannidhi Samvit Tvayeka Sarva Samstitav Lada Tapa Kari Mishra Tayona Guna Varjite. In the material world, the spiritual energy of the Supreme Personality of God is manifested as Tapa Kari, which means causing miseries. Everyone hankers for happiness, but although happiness originally comes from the pleasure potency of the Supreme Personality of God in the material world, because of material activities, the pleasure potency of the Lord becomes a source of miseries. Lada tapakari. False happiness is the false happiness in the material world is the source of distress. But when one endeavors for happiness, but when one's endeavors for happiness are redirected towards the satisfaction of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This tapakari element of misery is vanquished. An example given in this connection is that extracting fire from wood is certainly difficult. But when the fire comes out, it burns the wood to ashes. In other words, experiencing the Supreme Personality of God is extremely difficult for those devoid of devotional service. But everything becomes easier for a devotee and thus he can very easily the Supreme Lord. Here the prayers say that the form of the Lord is beyond the jurisdiction of material form and is therefore inconceivable. A devotee prays, however, my dear Lord, be pleased with me so that I may very easily see your transcendental form and potency. Non-devotees try to understand the Supreme Brahman by discussion by discussions of neti neti, nisheda nirvana sukhanu bhutihi. A devotee, 
however simply by chanting the holy name of the lord avoids such laborious speculations and realizes the existence of the lord very easily so this is continuing with the prayers of daksha so this prayer daksha prajapati is offering to the supreme personality of god at krishna and there are many many points in this prayer it's a long translation itself and the purport is even longer and practically the whole of krishna consciousness summary you will find in this translation and purport so we can read it again and again and again and you'll find so many wonderful jewels in this synonym in this translation and purport so a few things we will cover so here the translations begins with prabhupad is explaining the power of mantra and the example given is that manishina those who are great learned brahmanas they have certain powers within themselves and what is the power they have that by chanting the 15 sami dheni mantras there are 15 mantras called the sami dheni mantras these are mantras from the rig veda and they call sami dheni sami dheni is from samit sami dheni means fuel wooden fuel so in earlier days the brahmanas were so qualified that they would invoke fire in the havan in the yagna simply by chanting the mantras these days nobody has that potency because the knowledge is lost the purity is isn't there and for different reasons so by chanting the 15 samadheni mantras just 15 mantras not some very big just 15 mantras they will chant and the fire will appear so we have so many examples in a, in fact this should give us the confidence of the power of the hare krishna mantra you have this as one example and the other day we were discussing there are so many other examples parikshit the power of mantra it could be used for both for anything but the power of mantra is being shown like parikshit maharaj was cursed to death by the son of a brahmana who was not so qualified shringi who was the son of shami karishi parikshit maharaj you know we know the whole story and he was so powerful that young boy and this was in the beginning of kali yuga that he could curse parikshit maharaj to death and like this we have so many examples ashwatthama just by chanting the mantras could produce a brahmastra so this is the power of mantra so and these are all material mantras there in our books in our in our scriptures but it's not it's it's a, it's a material mantra so if a material mantra material in the sense it's it's there in our vedas but it's not for some uh, for liberation from this material life in that sense material but they are there in our scriptures so if this is the power of a mantra these mantras that can even engine the power of a spiritual mantra which is coming from the spiritual world these are all mantras that krishna has given us in the vedas and in different texts imagine the power of mantra golokera prema dhana hari nama sankirtana this mantra which is coming from goloka has got inconceivable potency as i prabhupa says you chant hari krishna mantra seriously chant hearing every word and he says what is the power of this mantra the power of this mantra is that the entire world situation can be perfected prabhu says everything can be everything will be automatically adjusted just look at the power there are so many problems in the world today so many issues how many issues can you handle and how many people are handling how many presidents how many prime ministers how many governments united nation so many people are handling and the problems are only going on increasing but prabhupada is saying everything 
will be adjusted. This is like, a, how can everything be adjusted? How will it be adjusted automatically, period? So these statements of Prabhupada should make us to think, my God, what is this mantra? This is not an ordinary mantra. This is the confidence the Guru is giving us. So we haven't received an all. Although it may appear like Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram, but it's full of spiritual potency. That spiritual potency, you can realize it can be invoked if we chant it as per the rules and regulations, hearing attentively, and that is what Prabhupada also writes in the purport. So. This is, this is one of the point and then further Prabhupada is saying that great yogis meditate upon so the example here is given is just like uh, ju just like the uh, the mantra proves the fire dormant within the wooden fuel can be uh, uh, the just like great learned brahmanas who are expert in performing ritualistic ceremonies and sacrifices can extract fire dormant within the wooden fuel. So in, inside the wood, there is fire. And how to realize the fire or to extract that fire is by chanting the mantras. So similarly, by chanting this Hare Krishna mantra, the Supreme Personality of Godhead who is situated within the core of the heart can be realized, can be felt, can be awakened. So the fire which is inside the wood cannot come out if you don't chant the mantras properly. You can go on chanting, it will not come out. In the same way, Lord is there in our heart, within the core of the Hidhyantas, Hidhyantas Thita is situated in the core. If you want that Lord to come out and you want to see him, it can be done by chanting properly. That's why this chanting and hearing. Shrinvatam Swakata Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana Ridhyantastha Yabhadrani Vidhu Noti So right now, why is the Lord not coming out? Because although the Lord is inside, inside the heart there is a lot of material contamination. So with this material contamination, the Lord cannot be realized. We have to cleanse the core of our heart. Then the Lord can be realized. So here, I will read a small passage where Naham Prakasha Sarvasya Yoga Maya Samavrita Krishna said, he is not exposed to the rascals, but one who knows he is seeing Krishna. Premanjana Churita Bhakti Vidochanena Santa Sadevaridesu. You cannot, not that Krishna, you can Sadevaridesu. Always you can be seeing Krishna. Yam Shama Sundaram Achinte Guna, and then he quotes that word. The devotees always see Krishna. For the devotee, Krishna is always present. And for the rascals, Prabhupada's famous word for waking us up, for making us realize who we are. And for the rascals, he cannot be seen. That is the difference. So you have to become non-rascal. So you have to become non-rascal, then you will see Krishna. Ishvara Sarva Bhuta Naam Hiddeshi Arjuna Tishtari. Everyone's, in everyone's core of the heart, Krishna is present. But do you know that? That Krishna is present in your heart? Can you see Krishna? Can you talk with him? He is within your heart. He is present. But he talks with whom? Esham Sadata Yukta Naam Bhajatam Priti Purvakam Rami Buddhi. He talks with devotees who is 24 hours engaged in his service. These are the statements. So you require, so everything requires qualification. So this Krishna consciousness movement means, now here he says, what is the meaning of the Krishna consciousness movement? This is the aim, this is the vision of Prabhupada. 
this krishna consciousness movement means we are trying to make the people qualified to see krishna he's talking of trying to make people he's not talking of specific devotees or he's talking of everyone qualified to see krishna that is the aim of this krishna consciousness movement so this is our goal this is what we are Prabhupada is asking us to become and here if you see the purport of this Prabhupada starts off that in his commentary to this verse Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur uses the word Durvigneham which means very difficult to realize. Krishna is, Dur, this is how he starts the purport and in the entire purport three times Prabhupada is repeating Krishna is very difficult. I'll read those portions. So first is this, Vishnu Chakravarti uses the word Durvigneyam which means very difficult to realize. Prabhupada is saying what we read now is the aim of Krishna consciousness movement is to make everyone see Krishna. And now here it is says Krishna is very difficult to realize and he wants everyone to see Krishna. Then the second place it is says, so all so the subject matter is durvigneyam, extremely difficult to understand. And then in the third place, third time he says, towards the end of the purport, in other words, he is summarizing, in other words, experiencing the Supreme Personality of God it is extremely difficult. It is not so easy to see Krishna. It is so difficult. But if we read this purport further, Prabhupada seven times says that realizing Krishna is very easy. Just look at this. Now I'll read those portions. And then we will try to understand what is how do we understand this? Three times difficult means over. But he says seven times, repeating that number three, it is easy. And why it is so difficult and what makes it so easy? So first let us read why it is, how it is so easy. It is all in the purport, everything. The first, To understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one must undergo severe penances, another difficult, something similar. Man must undergo severe penances and austerity, but since the path of devotional service is perfect, by following this process, one can very easily come to the platform and understand Krishna, very easily understand Krishna. The next. Although the subject matter is extremely difficult to understand, it becomes easy if one follows the prescribed method. And we have such a simple prescribed method, but we have to follow that. Second, third, a devotee is able to see This, so despite various impediments, there will be so many impediments in the path of bhakti, but a devotee easily makes his way through these impediments and directly comes in contact with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Easily makes his way through impediments. So impediments will be there. But if you are a devotee, following this process, you can easily make your way through these so much of confidence Prabhupada is giving us. That was, that was the third. Then the fourth. Experiencing the Supreme Personality of God, it is extremely difficult for those devoid of devotional service. But everything becomes easy for a devotee. And, and thus, 
everything becomes easier for a devotee and thus he can very easily meet the Supreme Lord. Not only see, you can meet him and very easily. So a devotee's prayer is, my dear Lord, please be pleased with me so that I may very easily see you, your transcendental form and your potency. Sixth, and then the, la and the last one, simply by chanting the holy names of Lord, we avoid all the laborious speculations and we realize the existence of the Lord very easily. So, if you see, even so, we have to become devotees, and Prabhupada is saying that. It is not difficult to become a devotee. Although Krishna, it is very difficult for Krishna to real, for us to realize Krishna. Extremely difficult, very difficult. But for a devotee who is following this process, it becomes extremely easy. And Prabhupada is explaining that further in this in the in the purport by quoting from the Bhagavad Gita, where Krishna also mentions these two things. Manushyanam sahasreshu kashchit yatati siddhai yatatam api siddhanam kashchin maam vekti tatvatha Very difficult to understand. Manush sahasreshu out of thousands of people yatatam api siddhanam Hardly one or two are trying to achieve perfection. And of those few who are trying to achieve perfection hardly one will be able to know me. So difficult it is. And then Krishna says again but who can know me and see me very easily? Bhaktya maam abhijanati yavan yashchasmi tatvata tato maam tatvato vyatva dishate tad anantaram He can enter into me, go to the spiritual world, see Krishna, play with Krishna, meet Krishna, everything you can do with Krishna. How? By bhakti. Bhaktya maam abhijanati. So now, it is very difficult. But Prabhupada is giving us assurance, it is very easy. So what makes it very difficult and at the same time very easy? And the process is, we know how Krishna can be very easily seen. It is written here, the last line of the purport, simply by chanting the holy names of the Lord, a devotee avoids such laborious speculations and realizes the existence of the Lord very easily. Where will he realize? In the core of the heart, Lord who is sitting, he will come out. He can meet him. Hidiyanta. And that's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also says, Cheto Darpana Marjanam. The chanting is cleansing of the heart. So now, what makes it very difficult or very easy? If your heart is unclean, then that unclean heart cannot be cleansed by these normal methods, process of atonement, process of yajna, sacrifice, all these things Prabhupada is writing. Therefore, Parikshit Maharaj is very intelligent. He said to Shukadev Goswami, this heart cleansing is so important, but the process that you, because Shukadev Goswami was testing him before, before telling him the chanting process. So he said it has no meaning. He, he rejects, Parikshit Maharaj rejects the Prashita process. He says, the heart will not cleanse by this prashita process. He, Prashita Maharaj Prabhupada writes, he says, this prashita does not cleanse the heart, the core of the heart, vidyanta, the core of the heart. In the core of the heart, he has got all the dirty things. What are the dirty things? How shall I cheat? How I shall go to the black market? How I shall enjoy senses? How shall I drink? Etc. Etc. These things are packed up in the core of the heart. One, so simply by going to the temple or to the church and make some atonement, it will not benefit. Now Prabhupada says, one has to take the Sankirtanam process seriously. One has to take seriously to this method, Sankirtanam, Cheto Darpana Marjanam. And then further he says, this is a very nice passage, 
in a short passage you count how many times prabhupada is using the word be serious don't take it easily don't take it lightly sorry don't take it lightly i will read the passage so we should be very serious why should we wait for another birth either in a very pious family rich family that is all condemned in the bhagavad gita if you are elevated to the highest planet you have to come back again here the best thing is that we are here now in this planet and immediately take to krishna consciousness and surrender to krishna and become perfect don't wait for another birth finish now now if you are actually serious about krishna consciousness then finish now this is the opportunity labdhva sudurlabham idam bahu sambhavante this birth is obtained after many many evolutionary processes process this human body can give you the highest perfection so turnam yateta be very serious and try for that perfection don't wait until next death comes but we are not serious we are not very serious we are serious about how to make our sense gratification very nicely that is our seriousness human advancement advancement of civilization means how nicely you gratify senses this is going on only to give us all sorts of comfort but actually human civilization means that people should be very serious to have perfection of this human body spiritual perfection that is the perfect human civilization so prabhu pad is saying don't this is a golden opportunity in the bhagavatam it is mentioned sulabham sudurlabham for this birth that we have received this human body two words are used which summarizes everything nicely sulabham sudurlabham so durlabham is that this human body is such a rare opportunity that we can get free from the cycle of birth to death old age disease and all the kinds of miseries and and sufferings in all the life it is very very rare so durlabha roba says after millions and millions of life you will get a chance and that also we are so fortunate that we have got a chance in this kali yuga uh, when chaitanya mahaprabhu appeared who appears once in 1000 years of brahma which is some Uh, one day of brahma which is some billions of years so just imagine how so durla how what a rare opportunity we have got and this rare opportunity so durlaba did any one of us make an effort to get this human form of a body none of us made an effort this rarest thing has come to us so durlaba very easily it has come so the the rarest of the opportunity you have been simply blessed with take it like that without your asking for it it has come so sulabha easily it has come the most difficult thing sudurlabha so we should take it very seriously there are letters of prabhupada where prabhupada is writing to his devotees simply be sincere and serious three s s e simply be sincere and serious and all realization will come to you so it's not an ordinary thing that we are practicing imagine prabhupada is writing seven times he is writing the purport it is so easy very easy for a devotee everything becomes very easy so all that we need to be conscious of you should be checking within yourself am i serious am i sincere and now i will end with this one so now a practical point of how to demonstrate our seriousness we all know chanting and all that and mind goes here and there but at least we are present there so if we don't hear about krishna then how we will make advancement so prabhupada says basically the seriousness comes in simply by systematically hearing krishna every shanvatam swarabha krishna 
hearing 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 is the key in our chanting also hearing is the key if you if we chant our 16 rounds without hearing then it will not purify us it will purify us in some other lifetime so we should just stick on to this process of hearing be very serious mind will give uh, mind will go here there here there so much if you hold on to it after all what you have to do when we chant and hear is very simple because the conditioning is so deep but we must understand our conditioning may be deep but the holy name of krishna can uproot the most the deepest of conditioning that faith we must have and you must have the desire i want to uproot all the conditioning from my heart i want to cleanse my heart krishna is seated in the heart i can see krishna in the heart i want to do that that is a many points are there in the purport prabhupad writes in the point there one more point in the translation and the purport one must be eager and then he writes another point in the purport he saying the difficulty is that people in the sage are satisfied with whatever life they attain with whatever species they are born in they are not eager to come out of this so how do we become eager eagerness comes constantly read and hear attentively because we are not eager why because we have developed our taste for different things because we heard those things gramya katha that's why bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur said be indifferent to bazaar gossips a very important statement we all get attracted by bazaar gossips what happened there what happened there what he did what he that you got you got no relationship with bazaar gossips if you are with bazaar gossips you will stay in this in this bazaar in this material world be indifferent a hey, why just be quiet be indifferent somebody is talking just be quiet you cultivate humility patience within yourself and not that gossip i want to hear krishna katha so hearing we must not sacrifice we must not compromise on our hearing so if we don't hear about krishna then how will we advance we have to hear my guru maharaj was very kind upon me because i was very much interested to hear him that you know i heard him i did not understand him actually he prabhupad was hearing him even without understanding but he was so hooked on so eager he was to hear in spite of not understanding just look at the confidence prabhupad had so in the beginning i could not understand him he was speaking in such a high philosophical way that i could not understand my guru maharaj still i wanted to hear him and prabhupa says this was my only qualification that in spite of not understanding him i wanted to hear him this was my only qualification so this is the process and now prabhupa says during lecture time giving a lecture in mayapur so during lecture time if we don't care to hear or we do other things or take rest that is not very good sign we should be very much careful we have taken the vow to see krishna to understand krishna so we should be very very serious and do the needful then our life will be successful ye then dia grantra shimad bhagavatam ki shila prabhupad ki nitai gaur ki